Man is a thinking creature. He should not be brought up by a trainer like a dog. He should not be taught only to obey. He should not be fed because he obeys. He should not have a life of luxury, perhaps, because he happens to obey a rich person. The actual problem is that the human being has a mind that was given to him to think with. It was an active organ, an organ to do something. It was not simply a receptive faculty to listen, to hear, and to see. Most people in various fields of activity never participate in those practices and policies which stretch the mental power. Yes, there have been crashed craft and bodies recovered. But who do you tell that you were involved in a uh, UFO incident without them looking at you like you, you ain't wrapped too tight. It's not etched into the rock, it's not carved, it's burned into the atomic structure in some extraordinary way. I believe that they're giving us a model for accessing energy in a clean, safe, limitless way that could completely revolutionize the way all people live. Right here in this toroid, we have enough energy to transform the entire Earth. And that's not just a theoretical statement, it's literally true. The energy is extracted from the fabric of the space around us, which means it cannot be metered. That is a direct threat to the single largest industry in the world. Energy. The suppression of UFO phenomena is hand in hand with the suppression of so-called free energy. An elite group of people and the corporations they run have gained control over not just our energy, food supply, education, and health care, but over virtually every aspect of our lives. The way the system of medicine is set up, medical education is funded by pharmaceutical companies. We have a privately owned central bank system disguised as a government owned system. There is no other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. It gives them the ability to print money in a way that the insiders are protected and everybody else is trained. No matter where you go in the world, he who controls the money controls the world. There is another way. If you want alternative energy, you don't ask an oil economy to produce it for you. We have to produce it. The power of the Internet enables us to share the depth of this research. There is an extraordinary, fierce group of people who are taking this on. We can make a real difference right now. The simple power of truth. We're not nearly as insignificant in our impact as we think we are. There is a force that's more powerful, and that's the power of the people. We can create a world where people can thrive. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world. 
Millions of despairing men, women and little children. Victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate. The unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery. Fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, the kingdom of God is within man. Not one man, nor a group of men. But in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful. To make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world. A decent world that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! The big ERC, 747, is flying because the pilot is there. And the pilot is a soul. Powered by another bodily machine. And that, that is missing point in modern civilization. This stuff has got to stop. You know, people, and like I said, we're supposed to live in a civilized free society. We don't. The motto of, of American civilization is going to be, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore because it's not going to be based on, it can't be based on lies anymore. The lie is different at every level. Every little group is controlled and contained and constrained by being fed exactly how much BS they will believe. We've forgotten about why it is that we're supposed to be here to begin with and that is the beauty of each other and of this land. And one of the things that I always ask people, every single person, and I say to them, you really need to ask yourself this question. Are you happy? It's a very simple question. The answer is what gets very complicated. There's not enough love in the world. There's too much fear and hatred and the tremendous human capacity for, for love and for nurture and for support. Uh, of one another is being systematically eroded by dark forces uh, within, within our society. We as a planet have to start to realize that we are one, that all these divisions among us are just delusions, and that it's a divide and conquer strategy by the Illuminati, by the powers that be that want to take over the earth. I also feel that most of us, uh, to varying degrees, go through our lives kind of a sleepwalking our way through. And uh, our ongoing struggle is to wake up, to become conscious of everything that's going on around us and inside us. This time that we're in is a time of change, and it's a time in which we all get to experience that change together. We're all in this together, and each one of you are one of those liberators. You were born as part of a mass contingency who decided to be here at a time to help enable a strategic turnaround on this planet. Mm -hmm. So for God's sakes, listen. Listen to yourself, remember who you are and why you are here. 
and stop worrying about these things. What you are here to do is probably different, or maybe different from what I'm here to do. Don't try and copy me. Be yourself. And the reason why you need to find out more about who you are, rediscover your strength, look at your past, meditate, do whatever processes or techniques are appropriate for you to remember why are you here. Because you're here to do a job. The Buddha, Jesus, all these people said the temple of heaven is within you and within everything. That's the description of a practical type You have nothing to fear. You are an immortal, timeless being who has an infinite future in a glorious universe that's so filled with beauty and life we on this little tiny planet couldn't begin to grasp. But I, I, I say to people, don't be afraid for God's sake. Gather around you those you love. Spread that love around. And go into tomorrow with courage.